Hey guys, Brad Bowden here from the Men's Canadian Sledge Hockey Team. Um, just wanted to put together a quick video. Uh, it's been a while since I posted anything to my YouTube channel. And so everything's kind of all over the place right here. and wasn't really planning on doing a video, but I uh, was checking out some, some content that uh, has been updated on, on YouTube and uh, uploaded by uh, a couple different people, uh, such as Kevin Rempel, who's doing a lot of great work, putting out a lot of beginner videos for you guys, trying to help you get used to getting into sledge hockey and learning how to um, shoot and pass and turn and um, you know hold on your sticks and stuff like that. Um, I noticed a few comments in some of the videos and, and one of them that actually stood out to me was uh, what's the proper length of stick. Now um, unless in other countries they've come up with a, a new formula that is you know that works perfectly um, I haven't heard about it because as far as I'm concerned, anything that has to do with figuring out the proper length of stick comes down to you tinkering and figuring it out and doing some experimenting on your own. I have still yet to discover what is the proper length of, of sledge hockey stick for me, uh, or para ice hockey stick for me. And uh, I think for me it's just been a lot of trial and error going out on, on the ice by myself uh, and just practicing shooting and, and my strides and, and timing and stuff like that as far as you know sprint, sprint times go. And, uh, I think that the best advice that I could give anybody that's trying to figure out what the best length of stick is for, for you to use would be to just set up a bunch of different lengths of stick uh, and take them out to a rink and just try them and then try them in a game and see which stick has helped you be more effective. Um, if you're looking to be a faster player, clearly your sticks are going to want to be slightly longer. If you're looking at short quick strides and you're more interested in shooting and having more control uh, as far as stick handling and stuff like that, you don't want to have a, a super long stick. So uh, that's my, my advice to you is just go out on the ice, cut a different, cut, cut a couple different sets of sticks up and uh, just time yourself and practice shooting and, and see which ones uh, are easier to shoot with, which ones are harder to shoot with and then just start trimming it down or or whatnot but I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest cutting a short stick right away like just take a little bit off your stick one at a time um, because if you cut you know your stick in half then you can't get that back and that's you know that's money wasted so I know a lot of sledge hockey sticks now cost close to you know 200 plus dollars a pair so uh, I wouldn't suggest doing that but that's my little tidbit of advice for you guys if you're uh, interested in trying to figure that out Nobody knows the answer, only you can figure that out. And once you kind of go down the right path and start to feel like, oh, hey, this is kind of working for me, you're still not going to be satisfied. You're still going to be like, well, I think it could be better because everything could always be better. I still, you know, sitting in my sled and moving around as, as, as good of a piece of equipment as it is uh, compared to what I used to use, I still feel like there's always another way to improve. There's some, some kind of technology out there that we could be implementing in the sport. But, uh, you know, something cool that you could do, too, is if you're going to do an experiment like that, film it and uh, put it on YouTube and help other people figure it out. Because maybe eventually we could come up with some kind of formula that would work for deciding what's the best length of stick for you. Um, but, yeah, uh, I hope this helps. I know it doesn't really give you much information, but at least telling you that there is no solution to that. And, and you know, you can, you can agree with me or not. Uh, you know, you might find somebody who goes, oh, you know, well, it's simple. This, you know, this is the solution and this is the best length. It's personal. It's it's for the player. And I don't care what anybody says. My my personal opinion is there's no answer. It's it's just going to come down to you figuring that out on, out on your own. So, so no matter what anybody tells you, just, you know, experiment. Try different kinds of sticks. Um, carbon fiber, wooden sticks. You don't always have to use carbon fiber sticks. They're lighter. But sometimes I find, you know, when I first started using them, it was really hard to hold on to the puck, uh, especially with a lot of guys that I play with where you're getting a lot of really uh, hard direct passes that you have to handle in high-pressure situations. So it was tough because the puck would bounce off my stick, but it took a bit of practice and playing around with, you know, different lengths and different kinds of sticks. And for me, I found what worked for now, but I always feel like things could be better. So there's my advice for you as a sledge hockey player or IPC para-ice hockey player is to just go and figure it out on your own. Some things you just got to play around with. So good luck in your uh, journey for the best length of sledge hockey stick for you. See ya.